Well, because you led into the uh, book, let's talk about the first book. Um, mm -hmm. Just give a shameless plug for all of that great knowledge that's in that book and what people can learn. Hold that. Uh, for doing our, sh shameless plug right there. there Five People's is. Leadership Insights. Uh, this is about challenging what we think we know. There's a lot of uh, biases and assumptions and lenses that we look through that sh that sort of skew how we see the world, and that skews our decision making, and that skews our understanding, and it skews how we relate to other people. Uh, the book is about identifying those and breaking through them. Mm -hmm. So that's a very, very short summary of it. Do you, um, I've studied different leadership types. Is there one particular leadership type that you tend to gravitate to that you've seen used in the military or just your preference? Uh, I don't know if types are, are, are something that, that I ascribe to as much. I mean, yes, you have authoritative and, and uh, laissez-faire and everything in between. Um, I'm more interested in, in the power that people use while they have a leadership role and whether or not they're in a position of leadership or if they are just a natural leader. So the, the five uh, major forms of powers, you have coercive and reward power. You can write people up or you can give them bonuses, coercive and reward or two. Um, you have uh, authoritative power. Um, which is, or legitimate power is another term for it. And that is, you know, where are you on the organization chart? Uh, you've got expert power, which means that you are considered an expert in your field or industry. And so people refer to you or defer to you. And that's a form of power for leadership. And then there's one that's called referent power, which is really about people respecting you and people wanting to follow you. And this is where influence comes from. And this is the most powerful power that a leader can use. That's influence. 